we participate in this sacred and, and time-tested ritual every month, every first Sunday. And yet we participate in this similar ritual all the time, and we may not fully realize it, but I think that when we have communion together, it's a reminder of the fact that when we sit and have a meal with each other, whether it's most of the time now with our family, but once in a while, like I had the privilege this week of sitting down with a couple of church members, and each of us recognizing the sacredness of the moment, the importance of the moment, the value of the moment, I think that's the spirit of the communion, is that we realize that we were never really meant to be alone in life, even though many of us find ourselves spending most of our time alone. That the, the heart of the communion is to re remember that we are children of God, sisters and brothers, family. And then when we share this meal together on a Sunday, we are all together, and we all have the same little wafer and the same little bit of juice. No one has too much. No one has three and someone else doesn't have any. Everybody has one. As if to say, as if it's God saying to us, there's enough for everybody. And so as we share in this very, very odd <laughs> and simple way of remembering the life and death and ministry of Jesus, I hope it also reminds you that when we sit down at our tables and eat with each other, when we have those rare and wonderful occasions to sit with friends, that God is present at the table, always present with us. Even on the night when Jesus was betrayed and he took bread and broke it, saying to his disciples, this is my body, which is to be broken for you. And each time that you eat of it, do so in remembrance of me. He also took a pitcher and poured out the wine for each of them, saying to them, my blood will be shed for you, not in failure, but in love. And so each time that you eat and drink, do so in remembrance of me. Thankful to Sue McEnroy who provided this bread for us, and uh, she also provided a prayer for us this morning that was uh, written by Keith Cooper. So I'd like to pray, and then we'll eat and drink together. Please pray with me. Lord, we come to your table today with open hearts, grateful for the sacrifice you made for us and for your unending love. As we partake in the symbols reminders of your love. May we take the love you give us and share it with others we meet. Amen. So let us eat the bread and drink the cup together. May we go in peace, knowing that God is with us wherever we go, whomever we encounter, whether we're alone, with loved ones, wherever life takes us. Go now in peace, knowing that you are loved. Amen.